Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make a portable NES. I found the tutorial on instructables.com. You can see a whole lot of really neat stuff on that website that you can make. So, it's cool to check out the website. So, I guess we're going to start. First step is, I'm going to show you what you need first. Um, of course, you're going to need an NES if you didn't figure that out yourself. You're going to need some wires, and with the, and you need some type of screen. Um, one that would work well would be the um, LCD PS1 screen, but um, in this one I'm going to be using a Casio pocket screen. So, let's get started. Okay, first step, you want to turn your NES upside down, like this. And you need a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, about this size. So, usually I would start with the controller port screws first. So, you want to be taking those out. They're about this small. So. Like if you if you're thinking like what's so great about NES and got like a PSP and stuff, there's actually a lot of really cool games on NES. Like there's a Battle Toads, Kirby's Adventure, the original Super Mario Bros. There's a um, Mega Man 2, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. There's a lot of really good games on there, so it's worth it. five screws out. There's about six screws you need to take out at that part. So just one more screw. There we go. So that's only six screws. Okay, that's all of them. Then you want to lift this part off. And then after this, we're not going to be needing this unless you want to, like, keep that or something. So, as you can see, there's this big um, metal coat over the whole thing here. So, you're going to want to take out, like, these screws and stuff over the metal coat so that you can actually access whatever is behind it.
see there's like one right about here on it, so we want to take this one out too. This one. And if there's like people out there that aren't fans of Nintendo and like Sega or something, then I can make a I will make a Sega Genesis portable tutorial as well. So got you covered, Sega fans. And then at this point, you can remove the entire coat of metal. So then, as you can see, this, the cartridge system, this whole cover thing you need to remove and stuff. So what you're going to want to do is take out this screw right here. And then there's a couple over here in the back. And you have to do that on each side. So starting from right here, and then these two back here. side as well. So if you actually have a cartridge, you're going to want to remove that, and then if you tip it over, your screws will come out, if they didn't come out, you can like twist them just a little bit, they'll probably come out, this side and get unscrewed all the way. Okay, and then you can actually remove the little cartridge slider thing. And then you're actually down to about this much of your system. So then you're going to want to remove a little bit more. Like, there's a couple parts about like right here and you're going to want to remove this screw 
right here as well. Right in here. And yeah, here. So ugh. You can actually remove this little metal piece from right here. Okay, and then it's up, but there's some wires keeping you from getting this here. So there's about two screws right here and right under this wire right here. So you're going to want to remove those screws real fast. Right here. And right here as well. You can lift this up and take it off actually and get it off through this part over here. And then another part, there's these controller ports as well, which are these wires right here. So now to end this tutorial, you're going to need a pair of scissors. Yeah. So these controller port wires, you're going to want to actually cut them. So you're going to cut the wire right here all these wires so you cut those wires and you cut these wires so like this so there we have it and you can see the result of cutting these wires right here and right here but if you like don't want the wires there at all you can trim it down even more so that's totally optional you don't have to do that but yeah so there that's gonna end the first tutorial and we will move on to the screening and things like that in the part two Thanks for watching. Subscribe.